Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with another review of the JJRC H10. Now I said that this might be an excellent camera platform and so that's what we're going to do today. We're going for a flight with the H10 using its um, lifting power, hopefully, to be able to lift this uh, 808 keychain camera. I got an 808 attached, this little $25 Quadcopter. Let's see how it performs with a uh, camera attached to it. Camera is recording. We've got a little bit of a breeze here today, so I'm going to have to go to a higher rate than normal, so it's going to be somewhat of a pitched on flight today. Oh, I forgot this thing takes right off. Let's go to the high rate. <laughs> it easily lifts, lifted off with that camera attached. Okay, I'm at about half throttle, actually, so it's having no problem at all. Lifting the 808. I'm going upwind, trying to fight that wind. Okay, that was its uh, limit. Got a little vortex ring state there. So its limit out there was about, uh, I'd say about 60 meters with this camera attached. It's not unusual because this camera does have a little bit of RF interference to it. Let's go upwind again. Upwind and out. I'm gonna... Okay, right about there and rotate. It can lift it, but the 808 is infamous for its RF interference. <laughs> so it does reduce its range somewhat carrying this camera. Keep that in mind. It's still a great uh, beginner's learn to fly quadcopter, and it can lift the camera. Just don't expect very good range. It keeps dropping out there, but it automatically rebinds, which is good. <laughs> you know, if it. If it drifts back into, uh, like I'm flying up wind here to do that, if it drifts back into reception of the uh, transmitter, it automatically rebinds. Okay, I'm losing. <laughs> I lost it again, and there we go again. It automatically rebounds. So, that's enough of that. <laughs> it can lift the camera, it's just that its range is, is somewhat reduced when doing such. Let's bring it in here. I want to fly the remainder of the flight without the camera on it. Just to play around here at Satellite Lake to demonstrate that you get still get good range with this quadcopter when the camera is not attached. Bringing it in for a landing. And let's take off that camera, which I just strapped on there with a, uh, or turn off that camera first. I just strapped it on with some Velcro cable ties. I, by the way, I highly recommend these cable ties. You get them at Walmart for about $3.80. That's a darn good deal for more than you ever need, more than most, po uh, most people would ever need. Uh, just makes it easy to strap on anything onto a quadcopter, particularly cameras or batteries. Okay, let's go back for a flight again. Let's see what type of range we get now without the uh, camera attached. And yeah, I'm at, I'm at about 80 meters. Easily flies now. Okay, 80 meters. And what is the range in this thing advertised? I think the range on this is advertised at 80 meters. Okay, I'm still in beginners, right? Expert. Let's play with headless mode today. Which, which way was, oh. Let's come back out of headless mode. <laughs> <laughs> We're going back to high rate. This this bottom one. Oh, top is high rate and bottom is low rate. So let's just fly in the wind today. It's a little bit breezy day today. Again, this is a great quadcopter for beginners to learn to fly with. I, I keep saying that over and over again. And the reason I'm saying that and hitting it because the FY326 was another great quadcopter, a price similar to this. Unfortunately, they, FY, whoever that company is, changed the innards of that thing, which destroyed a lot of its good features. Hopefully, uh, JGRC won't do the same with this quadcopter as I kind of like it. It's a very stable flyer. Very nice flyer. And, the lights are blinking right now, so I guess its battery's getting low after uh, carrying a camera. But we'll fly it until it drops. 
relatively good flight time. But keep in mind I was carrying a camera, carrying a weight of a camera, and that was using extra power to do such. So if you're a beginner, looking for your first quadcopter, this might be a nice one for you to consider. This is the JJRC H10. I'm trying to get my thumbnail here, that's what I'm doing right now. Nice and stable. If there was no wind, probably go hands off with this thing. Here's how you do bank turns, folks. Both, both sticks, rudder and aileron. Nice stable fire, and there goes the battery. That's the flight time. So, again, that was another flight of the JGRC H10. Just a little science experiment flight to see if it could lift an 808. It can. Uh, it reduces the range of the quadcopter a bit, but it's still flyable. So this is Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101. Signing out.